Now I'm going to show you how to work with this. So this I used with the Shape Builder tool. And you can use it to add two shapes together or to subtract a shape within a shape. So I'm going to come back over to my shapes. And we'll go with the polygon. And let's see, I'll just make it that blue. Copy it. And maybe I want something that looks... like this. So I want to have all these four pieces together and instead of grouping it I want it to have one firm piece so I can edit it a little bit differently than a group piece. So I have all these pieces. This is basically where I want it. I'm going to select them all and you can see where they're joining here with this blue outline again because that's the layer color. And I'm going to come over here to my Shape Builder tool. Shift M is the Shape Builder tool, and you can see what other selections you have under there. And right now, the natural way this is, it is the Shape Builder tool, so all these shapes will be built together. And you can see this checkered sort of pattern. Now, the thing that has to happen here, these shapes have to touch. And even better, they had to slightly lap over each other for sort of a connection point for this to work. So I'm going to click and drag, and this will highlight in red. And so you sort of want all that red gone on the inside, and you just want it to be on the outside. So now when I zoom out, this is just all one shape. So this is a great tool to know and to understand. Now the opposite of that is let's say I wanted to put in some shapes here. We'll make them a different color so you can see them a little bit better. And I want these cut out of this shape. So what I have to do is I have to highlight them all. I'm going to go back over to my Shape Builder, which is Shift-M. And instead of doing this, I'm going to hold down Option and we get a negative. It's also Alt on a PC. Click and click. And there we go. So if I move this over here, you can see that it's totally cut out. Now what we could do after this is if we wanted a more unique approach, we can click this and go over here, double click on these, and really work with having some, some funkified sort of shapes going on. You sort of have to click where you think there'll be an anchor point. Again, this is all really experimentation with how you want it to end up, um, but you still have those options available to you thanks to the direct selection tool. So again, easy to do, sometimes easy to forget as well. Just remember, option can be a really good friend when you want something cut out. And let's see how it looks when it's overlapping. It's not just in the middle. I can cut all this out, and I can have this bleeding off. So again, I'm going to hold down. I'm going to select that, Shift-M, to get to my Shape Builder. Click out, and then I can click out here, click out here, click out here. 